before we continue, take a guess and comment how many sneakers do you think I have in total that I'm gonna show you guys. Yo, 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 what's good, our squad? Welcome back to Arts News, where we upload a video every single Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. And Friday, not or Friday. Today, we do have a huge video. I know I've been promising you guys this for so long. It's been about over a year. Last time I uploaded my whole sneaker collection was in November of 2016, and we're already in 2018, so it has been over a year. A lot has changed. A lot has been added to collection, as you guys can see. Looks like I have a warehouse behind me. Well, a warehouse is inside my room, pretty much, but it's not really, like, the biggest sneaker collection. But it has grown substantially since the last time I've shown you guys everything and if you guys have stuck with the channel you guys know what i bought throughout the months and how my sneaker collection expanded i did promise you guys this before the break but unfortunately i was not able to do so because i did have finals and i was just so busy now that 2018 is here i decided let me show you guys my sneaker collection now and then see where it is again starting next year and before i start showing you guys my sneaker collection i do have one more announcement to make i am giving away three yeezy masks at the end of this month i will be giving one out of three away it is between a cream white yeezy mask a beluga yeezy mask and a bread yeezy mask so the way i'm going to this video is showing you guys the shoes by category and the first one is sports i'm gonna start off with the sport that most of you probably don't play which is soccer i do have two shoes from there one of them is this purple materials that i bought when i went to peru because i needed some shoes i need some cleats and all i had were these other soccer shoes which were indoors but we didn't play indoor we played on turf so i was like you know what i'll just buy regular cleats because they'll grip on way better than these these slip a lot these don't these are the majestas which are really nice and what i like about them is the sock i love this on a lot of shoes i think on soccer shoes it looks so good i honestly just hate low tops but anyways that's enough talking about soccer shoes i know what you guys really want to see is basketball shoes which is why i have more of but not really the most of start off the ones i do play with out of my basketball shoes are these kd sixes if i'm not mistaken i think they are the sixes and i bought these for a steal of a price they're like 160 dollars shoe 150 dollars whatever the price point is i bought them for like 50 dollars because i had a coupon at the nike store and it was at the outlet so i definitely got a good deal on this one and my next one is my favorite balling shoe the adidas crazy explosive low tops honestly it's a, such an ugly shoe it looks like a clown shoe as you guys can see it looks way out of shape because I don't have a shoe shoe for this one. The next shoes I'm going to get into are the shoes that I really don't care about. They're kind of just really ugly. I don't even wear these to be honest, but I have them just because I bought them at one point and I just never got the chance to get rid of them. The first one is this Adidas Boost, I think it's called. This is like one of the first shoes that had Boost on it, I think, if I'm not mistaken. It was the Ultra Boost and then this one or this one and then the Ultra Boost. I don't know the exact order, but these are just trash shoes. I really don't like them that much. I only wear them to work when it's a long day because they have Boost and they keep me comfortable. The other one is this Adidas that I got a while ago. I like the way they look, but they're not like anything crazy. I bought these because they were on sale. It was like two for a hundred. You get this one, another pair of the same kind. I was able to get one for me and then one for my mom on Mother's Day. So I kind of came out on a good deal. And that's a big key in like getting shoes and just getting anything overall. Always find steals. And this was pretty much a steal for me. Next up is this free run in the Volt Orange. No, Volt Orange. This is not even orange. This is like Volt Green. And these are just completely trash. These are the shoes that I changed my oil with. I paid the driver with these. That's like a little battle scar that it has. I'm gonna say this shoe's been through a lot. Look at the inside. It's getting a hole right there. And the other two free ones that I have are this one that I got second and I got this one first. It is this four point, this is a 5.0 actually. This one I got cause it was actually a steal. I'm confused now cause I thought I bought the other ones for a steal but I bought these for a steal as well. And I think I actually bought these at the Nike outlet. They were a good deal, they weren't a steal. These were a steal for like half off and my boy worked at Nike so he got me even a bigger discount and these were really nice at the moment. I remember I had a friend that had these and I was like, you know what? I need me a pair of 4.0s and this one's in particular. When I got these, I didn't really like them that much. I tried to take care of them. They started getting dirty. I was like, screw it, just use them for anything. <laughs> <coughs> so I started using them to <coughs> play basketball and now they're not trash but they're not clean and usually I like to keep my shoes clean but these just didn't make it so I forgot I have one more free run I think it is this one right here it is a 2.0 I got these from Simon's I wanted a 2.0 for so long I always liked free runs back before I got into like the hype stuff and I was able to get these these were the only ones in store so that's the only reason I got this ugly colorway and I barely wear these anymore I don't think I ever will I really don't know what to do with all these shoes that I don't want but we'll figure that out later on right now I'm just keeping these shoes in my collection because it kind of shows the progress of what I went through to get to where I got with those shoes. And last but not least, out of the shoes that I really don't care about is this shoe. I completely forgot what it was called. I remember I, when I first saw this, I loved it. It does not come with these laces, by the way. It's not supposed to be there. I put those on there, and if you guys saw my video, I have a video on how I customized them. And these are just completely hideous. I mean, I like them without it. I like, kind of like them with the laces. I really don't wear them anymore. They look like grandpa slippers. I remember I thought they were going to be really hype, but they really weren't. These shoes aren't really that hype at all. Oh, yeah, they're called the Nike Sock Darts, 
by the way. Now moving on to professional shoes, I only have two of them. One of them is this Calvin Klein that I've shown you guys before. I wear these to like the clubs and stuff, or sometimes when I have to wear like business casual outfits, like for intern, not for internships, I'm sorry. I mean for like interviews and stuff like that, which I really don't go to that much anymore. And the other one is this dress shoe that I wear for like when I went to the wedding in Peru. And that's about the only time I wore this shoe. This is not really my style, but I wish it was because these shoes don't look that bad. They're actually really nice if you can dress up in them really nicely. If you know how to rock these, I would say go ahead and rock them because they pull. So out of this wall right here, I have six stickers left and then I'm gonna go ahead and start off with those. To start off, I have these two Adidas, one of them being these tubular looking shoes. I think they're called the OG 93s. And when I first saw these, I loved them a lot, which is why I got them. I didn't know where to get them. I like saw them on somebody's picture and I really wanted them, but then I did some research and I found them on eBay for the price of like 130. And when I got them, I didn't know they were that bulky. So I was kind of bummed out, but lately I've been liking them a lot and I've been wearing them. They still look a little bulky on my feet since they are tubular, but I really don't care. They're actually pretty nice shoes when you have them on feet. These right here, I bought these because they came out online and they reminded me of these. They're kind of like a primate version of them and they are tubular as well, except they're called the tubular novas. But then when I got the shoe, I was not a big fan of it because when you put it on, this part of the shoe kind of sinks in and like fits to your foot and it looks kind of stupid if you guys can see. But when it has a shoe tree in there, it looks pretty nice. The last Adidas shoe that's on this wall is the Adidas Alpha Bounce. And I honestly don't know how I feel about these shoes. I do like the pattern it is different. And looking at this part of the shoe does remind me of Yeezys because the Yeezys have that kind of sole. For some reason, they don't look that nice sometimes, but then when I wear them on feet, you have to like wear this with the right outfit or else it just won't look that nice. Moving on to the last Nikes of this wall. The first one is this Nike Air Max Zero. I kind of regret buying these because I don't even wear them. I just like them because of the history they have behind them. They are the Tinker Hatfield pre-sketch and that's the only thing I really like about them. I don't really like wearing them. First of all, they're yellow. They're hard to match with. And second of all, they're not all that nice. I'm not a huge Air Max person. Next up is the Nike Lunar Chargers where I love this shoe a lot. This one in particular, I love the colorway because it does have these speckles right there. The aesthetics are really nice. The lacing system is different. My only problem with the shoes is that they do run pretty small, especially around the ankle. So when I bought these in seven and a half, they ran really small. They felt like a size six and I was pretty bummed out because I really liked this shoe and I was planning to rock it a lot, which I do every once in a while as you guys can see it is dirty, but it gets too tight on my ankle. So I just have to like go home and change them because they are not that comfortable on feet. They are comfortable, just not the size that I have them in. And last but not least, the only Hirachi that I have in my collection is this red Hirachi. I think it's called the Love Hirachi. It was part of like a love hate pack or something like that. I've bought these off eBay because I really wanted them. However, I don't wear them as much. I don't like the way Hirachis look on my feet. And now I feel like they're overplayed. I feel like everybody has them. So I feel like they're nothing special anymore, which is why I really don't wear them that much. Now moving on to the sneakers that are on this wall, which have all the sneaker boxes in them. Those obviously mean so much more to me. I am going to start off from going from the bottom to the top. And now we're going to start off with the first pair, which is one of my favorite shoes that I don't wear that much because of the colorway. It is the Nike Boost. They are really comfortable. I wear this to work sometimes and I don't have a single problem. And these shoes surprised me when they came with the lace tips. This is like some little details that I like about sneakers. And that's what makes a sneaker great. Just the little details that you see sometimes, even though other people won't notice them. And on top of that, they do match the word of Nike on there, as you guys can see. Next up, I have my only shoe that is a collab with Kith and it is this 86 Sterling. I don't know the exact name of the shoe. I think it's called it GT Cool Express or GT Express Cool, something like that. Next up, I do have this Adidas EQT ADV 91. 116. Up next, I do have my only two Puma shoes. This one that I'm going to show you right now is the one that I got in New York. I ended up not really wearing these sneakers, but what I do do, I cheat a little bit and I wear these to the club now. That's why they look so dirty and they give me like that extra inch. You know what I'm saying? Be smart with what you wear. It helps you out a lot. Shout out to Richie Lee for those little tips. Next up is my last Puma shoe, which I'm absolutely in love with. I don't wear it as much because it's not a hype shoe. And yes, I do like to wear a lot of hype stuff. I do love this shoe because it is something way different than what I've seen before on sneakers. So I'm going to cheat a little bit and go to the top of the shoes, which is the shoes up there. These are shoes that I really don't care about, so that's why I decided to show you guys these now before I start going to the heat. And to start off, I do have these two Roshi runs, which I really don't care about. I do the red one and the black one, really nothing important. I got these because I really just wanted the red colorway. And then I got these because I wanted a pair of Roshi runs, but my first pair got destroyed, not knowing how like delicate they were. And then I got these, which were just a replacement for those. Next up are my two boat shoes, which I feel like every person in my high school had. I felt like I stood out, so I was like, you know what? Let me get a pair. So I got me this colorway first, which are destroyed. And I can't believe these are still from high school. These were from 2015. I still have these. I wear them all the time and they're still not destroyed like they're dirty but they're not destroyed i'm pretty sure i can clean these up and make them nice again these i got because i just wanted a black colorway and they're really nothing special i like to call these my white boy shoes and last but not least the last shoe that was on top is this sneaker right here it is the air jordan 3 5 lab 3 in the black colorway like i said i don't wear bulky shoes that much and these are extremely bulky they're so high even though they're not high top they're meant to be low tops they're such a big shoe they're really tall like they're almost as high as my jordan ones and these are size 8 like this shoe is massive so i really don't wear it that much next up we do have my high tops that are not jordans and to start off we do have these two adidas right here we have the black tubular dooms and then we also have these tan tubular dooms also known as the consortium tubular dooms or i think they were called the special forces i actually ended up getting these first when i was in new york i was able to purchase these online they were actually really hype when they came out at first and now they're whatever they just started making so many colorways of these which i feel like messed up this line of shoes
shoes and I feel like that's what Adidas is doing with a lot of shoes. I feel like they're messing up a lot of lines because they're releasing just so many colorways like the Adidas Nikki Boost, the Ultra Boost, these. They're about to like start ruining Yeezys because they're just releasing so much and Yeezys are like the most hyped thing that they can have other than their like family and friends and MDs and those limited releases. And I just bought these because I really like the colorway. I really love khaki shoes. I bought these actually off GOAT and I bought them by accident because I thought I took my bid down. I wasn't ready to buy them but I bought them and I guess I'm fine now so I'm glad I have both these in my collection. Next up I do have shoes that remind me a lot about like my childhood especially like back when middle school. I do have a lot of memories back then and it is these three pairs of Vans. These in particular did make it all the way from middle school. I have had these since middle school which is crazy that they still fit me now. They are a size 7. I don't wear them as much because they do feel a little small and they are like a little dirty and beat but I do still have them in my collection just to remind me of those moments. I actually ended up buying these because these are not something I could wear. They don't really fit me that well either and these can really rock with anything and they're very stylish so I decided I bought these and then one day I saw these online on Kit's website and I was like you know what I'm gonna cop these too as well. I love the zipper that it has on the back. It's something different and the colorway is ridiculous. I am in love with this colorway. I'm just a sucker for this colorway. Next up I do have my entire Jordan 1 collection which I did make a video of a while back I think back in November. To start off it is my least favorite this black toe one. Not really a big fan because they don't really have anything special. My next least favorite is the Royal One. I don't like this shoe because of the colorway however the leather they did try to make it a little bit nicer. Since it had so much quantity of them I feel like their quality control was pretty whack on these so that's why I'm not a big fan of these either. On the contrary going on to my more favorite Jordan 1s is the Bread 1. This has to be my least favorite out of the three of my most favorite if that makes sense to you guys because the leather is really nice. On top of that it is a band one supposedly. This is not the one with the X in the back. This is the newest release and I love the leather right here on the toe and I love it right here. I don't wear these that much which I wish I would. I feel like this is one of the shoes that started off the sneaker game and that's why it's so iconic to me and it means a lot to me. Not only that but I was able to buy these one once. I was not ever able to buy these and I wanted these so badly. So these are the shoes that would never leave my collection no matter what. Next up out of the two I don't know which one to choose between these two but I'm gonna go ahead and show you them. This one is the top three Jordan one. I love this because it does put all three Jordans in one sneaker and they're just so crazily mixed like you have this one and then the other one is different which makes it a little bit harder to rock but it's understandable because you are rocking top threes but my favorite out of them all i think would have to be this one right here it is a reverse shattered backboards i remember last time i said there was shattered backboards and you guys flipped on me for that which wasn't really that much of a big deal you guys know what i'm talking about but these have to be my favorite even though they have orange which is another color that's really hard to rock with it also has the off-white colors on the toe and behind the swoosh which i think gives it that vintage look but not only that the reason i like this shoe is also because of the leather is really nice and textured i feel like the shattered backboard regular ones are way better i haven't really had a pair but i felt them and i think the leather is better which i do plan to have in my collection one day even though those are going for such a high price now compared to what they were going for before moving on to the most comfortable shoes out of my whole collection to start off we do have this adidas adv eqt 9117 i think they did confuse them with the 9317 i don't know why the numbers are just so off on this they are different but this one in particular is one of my favorite sneakers of all time because of the boost on them they are super 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 soft very comfortable you can wear these all day any day you'll never have a problem with comfortability moving on to the ultra boost we do start off with the beater here this shoe is completely disgusting that's because i wear them everywhere look at the bottom they look green right there. they look green right here they look absolutely disgusting i don't even want to touch this shoe it's how bad it is but these have to be one of my favorite shoes because they go with everything they are 1.0 1.0 is my favorite colorway out of the four that they have the 1.0 2.0 3.0 and the 4.0 and the other three just trash my least favorite out of the other three that i have is this triple black because it is a 3.0 i'm not a big fan of the pattern as you guys can see they have the lines going down i don't know if these are 3.0 or the 2.0s i think they are the 3.0s if you guys seen the 4.0s they look like a shoe that you can get off aliexpress which is completely hideous nobody wants that shoe that i think they're actually sitting in champ stores right now i haven't really checked but i heard a lot of people saying negative comments about them but i'm pretty sure people still pick them up because they're ultra boost and they do have the black boost on them as well when we on to the last two we do have this chalk ultra boost and we do have the triple white ultra boost with the 1.0 uppers this one's my more favorite between the two this one is my second favorite because it is white all white really nice pops out a lot like i said white shoes make everything stand out a lot more however these are dirty i do have to crep them up and clean them and then protect them to get these white again because they look white on camera because of the light but they are somewhat dirty they actually have like an off-white look to them now these i'm absolutely in love with because they are the chalk colorway like i said i'm a sucker for this buttery colorway and i have to clean these too because they're a little bit dirty on some spots and unfortunately i got the boost sold dirty and it turned yellow and there is no reversing that anymore moving on my interview collection to start off i do have my monochrome pack right here i have the white pair and the black pair there's only two of them this one unfortunately is really dirty i have to like crap protect them which i did one time i don't think i did much but it got on the glue part right here which it looks really dark and unfortunately i don't think i can get that out i do have this black one right here which i don't wear as much anymore because i do have another pair that i wear a lot more but however it is still my collection and i do like these shoes because i was able to cop them off adidas when they were really hard to get next up i do have the triple black nmd it is not the one that came 
out of the 500 pairs that were given away by Adidas. This is the Japan one that came out a few months ago. I was really late when I got these. I had to get them from the plug. I absolutely love this shoe because it is triple black. You can wear with anything. And then you have this little black print, which I'm pretty sure it says the brand with three stripes, also referring to Adidas. Other than that, this shoe really has no importance other than the fact that it's just really nice shoe. This one right here, though, has a lot of importance because it is the OG NMD. However, this is not the OG one. This is the 2017 release. Unfortunately, I was not able to get my hands on the first release, but it doesn't matter because they look exactly the same. There's not much difference to them. Unfortunately, the boost on them got a little dirty, so they don't look as clean anymore, but I still rock them anyways because it's such a clean colorway. Last but not least, out of all my NMDs, it is my favorite, and I think it's your favorite as well, the YouTube NMD collab. Well, not even collab. It's just a custom that I made when I went to SneakerCon Fort Lauderdale. It is a sneaker con that I and based out of pretty much, which I decided to make this. I had just reached like seven or 8,000 subscribers and I was like, you know what? Let me make a sneaker because I am like so dedicated to YouTube. I love doing this. So I was like, you know what? Let me make a sneaker and then walk around and see what kind of attention I can get. And this got so much positive attention. This actually is a sneaker that blew me up. But unfortunately when that channel blew up, it got shut down. So I'd start all over again. So I really hope you guys are hitting that subscribe button by now. If you guys haven't already and also hit that thumbs up. <clears throat> I absolutely customized the crap out of the sneaker. It was a triple white XR1. I took the cage off, made the boxes red made the heel tab red a little sketchy back there but it still looks pretty clean left this white left the upper white didn't change anything else put the tube on there the other one says you i don't know if you guys can see it from here and on these little lace to braids i think that's what they're calling them they do say r snee with the a at the end and then it says curs on the other shoe so it does say r sneakers which is iconic to this channel so these are a custom pair made just for this channel they are written backwards which i know a lot of you guys have said but it doesn't really matter it's not really that big of a deal and then i did decide to throw these gold lace tips on them to make it it pop a little more i am in love with gold so i was like you know what let me customize them to my preference and i put these white with black spider laces on them just to not make them look so plain and i feel like i did a really good job with these let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this sneaker in particular now before i get into that heat you already know the yeezys are coming i am going to get into my space jams i'm not gonna get really too deep into them i'm just gonna say that they're really iconic shoe unfortunately i don't have the original pair that's why they're the 45 on them i wish i had the one i wish i wish i had the one that had the 23 on them but unfortunately i was only able to get these which i'm not too mad about because I do like this one better as far as aesthetics go because the black patent leather doesn't go too high or it is not too low. It actually goes a little bit higher which makes it look a little bit nicer so I'm completely satisfied with having this sneaker right here. Now the moment you have all been waiting for is the Yeezys. In total we do have 10 pairs of Yeezys so sit down, relax, and eat snacks. So out of the three V1s that I have, by the way, don't try to say they're fake because they're not. I already know my sneakers are all 100% authentic. So don't be trying me with that. Oh, it's actually, go ahead, comment they're fake. If you guys think they're fake, go ahead and comment they're fake. It'll just help me out, to be honest. But as I was saying, out of the three, my least favorite would have to be the Moon Rocks. These are my least favorite because they're hard to rock with. The colorway's not that nice. I got them because I just wanted all the Yeezys. Unfortunately, I sold my freaking Turtle Doves for $800, which was a steal to the person, but I lost a lot on there. Anyways, not really much to say about this one. This one's kind of just trash. My second favorite would have to be this one right here. You can rock this with absolutely anything. I love the little red stitching on the back. It makes the shoe stand out. Pattern, beautiful. You can see it. Looks kind of like grayish now because they are faded. They have had their times on my feet, so they do have some wear on them. And last but not least, we do have my favorite V1. The tans, the Oxford tans. These are absolutely beautiful. You can rock them with anything. They are so fuego. This is actually my roommate's favorite Yeezy out of all of them that exist. And I'm not gonna lie, it is my favorite V1. I did cop all these for resale, unfortunately, but I had to do what I had to do to have these sneakers in my collection. So going into the V2s, I'm gonna show you guys my least favorite to the most favorite and start off is the bread colorway you guys gonna be like what you're crazy yeah i know i'm crazy these shoes do go with everything but unfortunately i don't like them that much because they're too plain they don't have much going on with them and they don't stand out they do have the red right here and the red on the heel tab but that's whatever next up is the oreos like i said these are pretty plain as well they do have the white stripe but they are black and black goes with everything yes these go with everything as well but unfortunately these are too plain for me so i really don't care about these that much either next up would have to be these beluga 2.0s i don't like the heel tab i really don't like the colorway at all i just got them because i wanted them in my collection i wanted every single v2 and also one of them to have the reverse of the regular beluga so i was like you know what might as well have this one and this one as well and i know it sounds a little petty of me saying that i don't like my yeezys but i am fortunate enough to buy them through hard work so i don't think i'm trying to sound like selfish or anything like that my last four yeezys are my favorite ones but starting off from the least favorite would have to be these cream whites they're so plain they go with anything they really stand out a lot since they are white they make your outfit pop once again but they are my least favorite out of the four however they are still my favorites next up would have to be the blue tints these are pretty fire however the color is really hard to rocks which has to put these third on the list and the red color right here is just kind of random so that 
kind of just throws the shoe off. And next up, we do have his brother, the Zebra. It is pretty much the same sneaker, just without the blue tint on it. This one's really fire, rocks with anything, stands out a lot. You do have that beautiful pattern, beautiful, beautiful pattern. And I remember when they first came out, they were very limited, which I still have that feeling that they're really limited, even though a lot more people have them. But they are limited on the scale and the fact that the Belugas have so much quantity and these are way less quantity. I think they're like half the quantity of them. And last but not least, getting out to my favorite sneaker of my whole collection would have to be the Beluga 1.0, no heel tab, orange stripe, pops out like crazy. You can't really rock this with anything. You need to know how to rock this shoe, but it is a completely fire shoe. And this one just has history in my sneaker life. It was one of the shoes that got me popping off on reselling. And this one actually put me more into the game. So I have to thank this sneaker. Well, not personally like, yo, thank you. But I have to give this shoe a lot of thought. And that's what puts this number one on my whole list. Anyways, guys, that's my entire sneaker collection. I know this video is really long. I hope you guys stuck through it all. And if you guys did, make sure to smash that thumbs up button. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. Don't forget, you have to subscribe to get that easy mask. So you might as well just subscribe anyways. I want to thank you all for watching, especially if you watch it this far. This video took me over an hour to record. And I don't know how long it's going to take me to edit. But pretty sure it's going to take me like an hour, two, or three to edit. So I really hope you guys did watch. And if you guys did, I appreciate you all so much. If you guys did get this far, comment our squad in the comments down below. You guys know the drill. I do give shout outs to the fan of the day. And today's fan of the day does go to the law. That is his name. It's not the law. Like, that's his name. If you guys want to be fan of the day, all you got to do is subscribe to this channel, turn your notifications on, and be one of the first to comment on my latest video. And you will become fan of the day for the next video. Anyways, guys, it's been fun showing you guys my entire sneaker collection. I hope you guys stick with the channel from now on in. We got big things coming this entire year. Make sure you keep grinding. It's your boy, Sneaker Sign out.